Welcome back to FTB Infinity, I'm CZ Survivor and today we unfortunately don't have Screen Blast again complicated things due to my work so I'm going to be doing an episode on my own and what we're going to be doing is what I said I'd hopefully be doing at the start of this episode setting up a automated system to produce mana now we do actually have enough mana in here to perform one Terra Speed Steel operation bit of like there unfortunately uh, where's the thing wander the forest if we just quickly click on this we got over half oh yeah I did create a new I created a little island for Catania it's hollow I've put in a little elevator to get inside and out as you can see had fun removing the bat infestation from in there but anywho so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today but a few things first one that's a steam controller I'll be unboxing, I might unbox it on camera, I don't know, I'll have to see if you want it, put it in that description, but I'll be using that on an upcoming series, maybe, maybe, mm. but anyway, yeah, so I got a Steam Control today, so now that we've done that, let's get started, right, so, the automated mana system, now I've decided to go with the Gamorialis, the plant that turns food into mana, and the plan for it is, is to use computer craft now in the test world i created two i created a system that uses redstone from project red and one that uses computer craft now computer craft i was actually able to make it a bit more precise it's more efficient basically it works perfectly like as fast as it can to produce mana moment overflow and it works out very nice into just one line of code and you just need to link up a bit of redstone so that's what we're going to do now so we're going to need a few things first of all we're going to need a well two end chest chests are you going to search thank you we're going to get that and we're going to need some wool now I've decided that I'm going to go with green as being the base colour for the ender chest now why am I using yellow in this well green will be the base colour for the area within all right uh, I haven't done the cactus will be the base area base colour for the Britannia area why have I gone with yellow well I only want one part green and two parts yellow for the Gamorialis Right, so I just set up a little cactus farm. I've also changed the way my power system is, as you can see. It's just a little stack now with the power running up diagonally like so. They connect here, the crowd still blows fucks fucks, but honestly, it doesn't make much difference. So anywho, so now that we've got that, we also need a computer. And personally, I like going with the advanced computers because yeah <laughs> that's the only logical reason I can think of um, let's see we also mm. need some red alloy I do believe um, let's have a look red the, that stuff so yep red alloy ingot which is made from red iron compound which is oh nice and easy so we need three of that stuff uh, so red iron Compounds. We need one, two, three. Oh, we're out of redstone. Alright, one second. Right, just grabbed a bunch of redstone and now we can put these up here. This should get us three red alloy ingot. Yep, and then I wonder, are they compatible with. I doubt the smelted version is, but the unsmelted version may be. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so put that back. We need three of these. I think that'll be enough. Mm. And now we need some droppers. Now, I've been using the open blocks item dropper, so we need four of these. One, two, three, four. Oh, we already had a hopper in there. Mm. Interesting, I didn't know. But anywho, uh, drop that out and give it a scan. Right, and we also need a comparator. And I think we'll use the 
project mm. red integration comparators. Oh, right, so we need some circuits. We need a cathode, which of course needs a redstone torch. I can't wait till I start setting up auto crafting. So we need the cathode, and then we need some conductive plates, four of them, I think. If I did my maths right. No, three. No, yeah, it was four, sorry. Right, so, you know what, one more thing actually. Um, we need a trans locators. We need a bunch of these, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The crafted in two, so eight, that's four. Uh, we need four pistons. And we need. Mm. Put one away. We need some diamond nugget, and you know what? We need a bunch of redstone as well. Uh, let's grab some more redstone. And this redstone is actually for not for circuitry directly. It's actually mm. for the item translocators. So first of all, we're going to come over here, and I want to set down a item translocator on top of here then I want to put a ender chest on top I said on top good oh, that's the wrong way around uh, you're supposed to be able to turn these right yep good and then um, whilst they're both down might as well put the green die on both of them connect them up They're actually quite tough. Makes sense, they are made of obsidian. Right, so on here, I'm gonna put a diamond nugget and I am gonna click on here. And I just want a stack of this actually. Uh, 64, left clicking to increment it by one. Shift click to increment it by 16. Right click to decrease, I think control. Nope, no. Shift add 16, adds or minus is 16. Left is add. Left click is add, right click is subtract. So 16 in there, we put, we click on that, and it should keep a stack in there for us. Uh, give me toast. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of that. Anyway, so let's head over here. Actually, there's another item that we need. Oops, we need an open block, uh, not open blocks, um, open crate. Nice and easy. Oh wait, it requires the living planks, uh, which is quite like so. Uh, seven to seven is fourteen twenty-eight. That should produce us four of these. Yep, good. Right. So now to start building contraption and oh yes, grass in a mushroom biome spawns mushrooms right i have a way to deal with that but not today's episode no 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 no. so down here um yeah one sec right so i think i've got everything that i need in here um if i need any more i can go craft it so what i'm going to do is come down here now first thing i'm going to do is set up a mana spreader right here pointing directly up and i'm going to put a mana pool here and I realised that I need another mana spreader. But anywho, of course I'd realise immediately. So we need some dirt as well. You know what, why don't we get that and... There I go. Right, so... Mana spreader. Oh right, we're out of living wood. Uh, I'll just take the gold and one mystical petal. We needed... What was the other thing that I said we needed? Right, so next step is to put down these plants. Uh, you're going to pick up all that. I don't want to drop anything. So I'm going to put the Gamorialises here. Now to keep it about symmetrical, I'm going to put one on either side. I'll make a fifth one in the future. The system doesn't matter how many Gamorialises you have. Probably the more you get at a certain point, you might want to knock back its um, empty space it was to keep in the mana pool. I'll tell you that in a bit so next of all we want to put some item droppers down here and I don't know I think they always point down these ones 
and they will always fire directly down. Now, it doesn't really matter in this case about it, but why not just use a modded item? Um, I'm going to put some stone here for now and here. I'll change that in the future, that'll be changed. And what we want to do is run some redstone. So, red alloy wire. Actually, um, yeah, that'll be good here, right? Like so. And I want to punch out a hole here. And I'm probably going to need some more red alley wire. But that doesn't matter. So this one here is going to be my buffer. Um, buffer, 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 brain police function. Yeah, main buffer. So I need to twist this around. You can, I do believe, use crescent hammers. So just right click or do you have to use project red integrations screwdriver i think you might have to anywho all right well let's try this a different way let's remove that and let's try putting this down so yep we got in on the top so put this down and this will now start outputting a signal based on a few things based on how much is stored within the I forgot what it's called. How much is stored within the mana pool? So now that we've got this, ah, we can connect it up. Very good. Um, there'll be more island down here, so this will be covered up and will not be visible. I'll probably add like a layer. Like the next floor will have the roof start here, so we're able to hide all this stuff. Let's say so. Next of all, we want to get. Um, are you going to boot up Craft OS? Good. Right, we want to get. Paste. Uh, get. Or is it. Pa is it paste? Oh, paste bin. Uh, no, is it. I think it's get. And then. This code, it should be in the description. I've never actually used paste bin on computer craft before. I've always coded in my survival world and then just shown it off. So, yes. Uh, Alright, I need a file name. Uh, file name, this should be food2. Two, two, Manor. Right, download is successfully. I'll put that code in the description and I'll also put that. Next of all, I want to name this. No, rename. I can't remember. Give me a second whilst I figure out what I need to type. That's it, label. Label. Uh, set. Food. Manner. That's what I'm calling this computer. And if we just quickly back out, you'll see on Wiggler it's actually called Food Manor, this computer, which is good. It'll be used in the future in case you remove your computer. If you call it something, when you break it, it'll keep all the programs affiliated to it stored within it. Um, if you delete a computer that's had a program on it, your program will be saved somewhere in some of the save files. I can't remember how. If you look on the internet, you'll be able to find it. So, what we'll do now is edit food to manner. So this is the code, nice and simple. While true do, just basically run this code for an infinite loop. Okay, so the important stuff starts here. If RS stands for redstone dot get analog input, basically get the numerical value of the input, so it's strength to the right. Now we want to change this to the top. Now, if RS analog signal top is less than 13, so 12, 11, so on and so forth, do this. RS.setOutput, we want to change this to back for this case. And we want to change it here. I could have made this simpler for you lot editing this, but eh, for how little codes here, it doesn't matter. So RS.setOutput back. So it turns it on. Waits half a second, pardon me, um, outputs back, turns it off. Then it sleeps for three seconds, sleeps for another half second. Now the, 
Oh, I've got hiccups. Gamorialis takes half a second to digest a piece of, well, for a piece of food for every hunger nugget it restores. So for every half hunger nugget it restores, it takes half a second. So toast restores three and a half hunger nuggets. So it takes three and a half seconds. Now I put a 0.5 extra. This is to just compensate for server lag a bit. You never know, I mean, client lag, so we don't overflow it and become wasteful. Speed isn't its ultimate efficiency this, but it does help to be efficient. So save and then exit. Next of all, we want to go edit, start up. Now this is a special program within Computer Craft. Basically, whenever computer gets booted up, so let's say the server call, like it gets loaded by a, the chunk, because when it gets deloaded, whatever a computer's doing, it stops. But if it goes into a chunk and you reload the chunk, it'll boot it back up. Let's say you force restart a computer by holding Control R, it'll run what's ever in here. So uh, run, I think it is. No, um, or is it food? Oh, I forgot what this is supposed to manner. I think. Give me one second. Right, I've remembered what it is that you need to do. It's changed since the last time I've done it. It's shell dot run bracket the name of your thing. So food to manner. Control save and we'll Hold control and R, reboots it. Now it's functioning. So, we haven't got any linking up of items to these. Ooh. This now encounters a problem because this is slightly different design to how I had it, isn't it? Think, 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 think. think. Right, we don't use item translocators. Okay, right, change of plan. So we're gonna put that there and we're not gonna use item translocators. Uh, you can open it at the end of chest, can't you? Yeah, good. Right, so let's quickly head back. Instead of using item translocators, we're gonna use transfer nodes and we're gonna use hyper rationing pipes, which are pretty cool. So, you, you, you. Uh, why did I build the open crate? I didn't need the open crate. I'm thinking of an old design. Never mind, never mind me being stupid. Right, so we needed the. Right, so we need hyper rationing pipes, which requires a mm. bunch of buttons. So we need 12 buttons to be precise. Bit odd, the recipe, but I think I'm not going to argue with it. We need some glass and some lapis. That gets us four hyper rationing pipes. So we're going to come over here and we're going to. Uh, actually, I'm going to get a regular pipe. As well. I'm going to change how I'm laying this out ever so slightly because I don't want to use breadth and depth. Um, I forgot what they're called, things for mod. It's going to annoy me because it's not going to be symmetrical, but hey, I can live with it. So we're going to put a hyper rationing pipe there. We're going to put a transfer node there. We are going to put this here. We're going to take out the items and this should keep one item in. So you have two things. There's a rationing pipe, which will keep a stack of items in an inventory, and the hyper rationing pipe will keep one item in the inventory. Now I'm just going to turn off my ring magnetism for now. This is starting to produce mana. You lot shouldn't have linked to that, but hey, we still need to get those things set up. And we're going to put these hyper rationing pipes here, and this should link all along. Now, putting your pipe in here will give it the pipe effect to this pipe here that's on the transfer node itself. Got a bridge here, I'll add a Gamorreal in the future. For now, we don't need it. And the item droppers are being powered, so let's go grab a. Thingy, thingy, the thing that I was just talking about. Mm. The spreaders. 
that I accidentally put back. And we're also going to need to get out the... You. Right, good. And we need to link these up with bind mode. Because currently it's been actually quite wasteful now that I think about it. So let's get this done as quickly as possible. You. You and you. Put it into bind mode. We click on you. We click on you. We click on you. We click on you. We click on you, we click on you, and we click on you, and we click on you. Next of all, we click on these and click on them. This should link them together. We click on that. We click on this. Did I find it? Yep. Not the easiest thing to do in the world. Uh, Minus spreader. You, two, be safe, you. So these are all linked up to the right ones. Yep, yep, yep. Right, so what's going on here is all the manners being pumped into here. Uh, which is not bind mode. So this is going to start filling up. Now this one... Okay, I do believe we're having this mild lag spike. So all these gamorealities are pumping into this one mana pool. In the future we're actually going to get rid of this mana spreader. I'm going to change things slightly. But for now, I have to use a mana spreader because of limitations. Oh, and we've crashed. Right, so I've just turned off the mana spreaders because, well, well, not the mana spreaders, but the food, the item dropper system, because these mana spreaders aren't actually capable of keeping up with the Gamori Alice. I tested with a, um, the Gaia mana spreader. Now, we'll be able to create that very, very soon. So what I'm going to do with this is... Uh, let's see, edit food mana. I'm going to put in a loop that makes it loop, let's say, five times, and then wait for so long. I'll come up with that in a second, but first of all, I wanted to create a few more things. So we want to create a spark, well, two of them actually. So let's come over here, so spark. Now, all we can do is the regular sparks for now. So we need blaze. I'll do two of them. And we need it. Uh, let's see. We already have two of them. All right, that'll do. Those two will do just nicely. Right. So let's quickly break up a bunch of these. Good, and we'll put you away in there. Oh, does this change the colour of them? I'm guessing this will change the colour, so let's get some orange. I think it will, is my guess. So I want to go with orange sparks. I'm guessing it changes it, I'm not sure. Probably see in the future. Um, let's actually kidnap this crafting table. Take that and that. Uh, mm. That. Come on, let's head back over here and let's give this a try over here. Yep, that sounds like a good idea. So, you, uh, let's get down a crafting table. There at the back, we shouldn't use this too often. And this should get us two sparks. Live drive. Okay, so let's get the terrestrial agglom ag agglomon I still can't pronounce agglomeration plate. So we're gonna put it here. I'm gonna have it raised out the ground for this. Now I might I'm I'm liking the idea of having it raised out the ground, but maybe I'll give it a test with it in the ground off camera put that there, then we put our spark there, and this here. Now, we can create Terra Steel. Uh, I think it's one of each mana item. Okay, it doesn't show it in there. So we need a mana pearl, mana diamond, and mana ingot, I do believe. So, the question is, do we have any mana mm. items? No, so we want a diamond. Pearl and 
and cut. And I'm keeping my ring off of this because I think it will pick up the items, which is not a good idea. That is a problem with the rings and these mods that are now liking to add the dropped items. Oh, we need the mana variant, of course. Helps if I actually drop it in the top. Right, so let's give this a go. It should, in theory, just start up on its own. There we go. Starts powering the thing. And it's an incredibly beautiful particle effects, I have to say. I do believe these turn green. Now this should take half a pool of mana, so we should be getting close. And this is slowly going from blue to green. Can you tell now? Starting to blend in, and then we should get a Terra Steel. As that stopped draining. I know there was a bug at one point. Dancer in the dark. We now have a Terra Steel ingot. Right, so I've just realised we are way past the wrapping up point. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer if possible. News channel, why don't you subscribe to stay up to date, stay well, and survive her out.